Hello champions. Welcome to Razor Fundamentals 101. My name is Russell Mays. I'm director of content for Jatai. Today we're going to cover one of the most fundamental skills that's required to start your razoring career is how to cut one length. One length meaning just as blunt as we can get. So that's one of the skills we need to develop is how to get a really solid line with the razor. Now a razor is fundamentally going to be a softer effect, a softer kind of cut, but we still want to be able to build up weight with that softness. So we want to regulate how much weight that we have. So we're going to start maximum weight that we can get. Because the sectioning on this is not only going to allow my haircut to fit the head properly, but it's also going to be part of my guide. So we're going to section, I'm going to go straight down the back of the head, wherever the part happens to be. Strongest part, that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to take from the crown down to the occipital bone, which is that bump right in the center of the back of the head, straight down to the center of the spine. From there, I'm going to lay the comb against the hairline at the bottom where it's flat. I'm going to section that to the bump right behind the ear, which is the mastoid. Now at this point, I just want to make sure that my parting is even. A lot of times this section is going to be too thick. So I'm going to separate it. I can separate it either in half or I can separate it into thirds depending upon the thickness of the hair. Now there is a point of diminishing returns where I can have too small of a section when I'm trying to razor cut and it's not going to cut very well. There's also a point where I can have too thick of a section that will overpower the razor and I won't be able to cut it effectively or smoothly or, or uh, without really putting a lot of pressure on the blade. So make sure that all the hair is combed clean from the, the root section. And then once I get a certain length out, I'm going to flip the comb. That's the only tension that I'm going to create. From there, I will lay my finger underneath the comb just to support it and then grip where I want to cut it. I'm going to cut it directly on top of my fingers. So I'm going to hold that and I'm going to grip that for dear life because I don't want that hair being able to slip out of my fingers. From there, let's make sure we got this. I'm going to take the blade and I'm going to tilt it at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to slowly go up and down. I'm just laying the razor against the section. I'm not putting pressure on it. I'm just allowing the movement of the razor up and down to go through and cut that section, keeping a death grip with my left hand and just go all the way through. That's it. You end up cutting a fairly straight line. Now, sometimes you'll have to go back in, clean that up. That's okay. I got a couple of different ways I can clean that up. I can go back in same way that I cut it the first time. I can go back in also and cut on the inside of my finger and just comb that up right through there. Can I see what I'm doing there? Cut on the inside of my finger like that, that little piece right there. So now we've got a straight, even line. The smaller the stroke on the razor, the more blunt that that line is going to be. Next section over, I'm going to comb straight down. Same thing. Comb in, rotate the comb, support with my finger, and then plant the finger where I want to cut. There's my guideline. I'm going to move down a little bit past it. As I go through and lay the razor in here, I want the center of that razor stroke to be directly where the guideline is. My guide is here and my razor stroke is this big. I want my guide to be in the center of the razor stroke. I don't want to start the stroke where my guideline is. I don't want to end the stroke where the guideline is. I want it to be in the center. Comb everything straight down, support. There's my guide. Come in, 45. Cut that straight across, check it, boom, done. I want the hair to be an even wetness throughout the entire haircut. So I'm going to constantly apply either a little water or a little bit of blade glide 
to help keep everything as consistent and as smooth as possible. Starting right back in the center, same exact motion I had before, comb away, down, there's my guide, clamp on for dear life, 45 degree angle, the center of my razor stroke is the guide. And I lost my grip, that's okay. I go back in, grip again, cut that again. If anything sticks out, just cut that off. Another way to clean this up, on the inside, like that. My next piece, comb through, down, across. There's my guide, 45 degree. Center of my stroke is the guideline. Cut that through, down, clean that up. Come here, buddy. You're not getting away there, little buddy. There we go. Combing clean from the root all the way down. There's my line, 45 degree angle of the blade against the hair. Cut that through. And look at it and say, okay, that's straight enough. I'm getting the effect of it. I could probably clean that up a little bit more through there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Next section, I'm gonna take two flat sections up to the top of the ear. Flat, flat, to the top of the ear. Oh, come here, buddy. There you go. I wanna make sure that this line is parallel to my previous line. Pending on the hair, I may have to subsection this. If I do, I'll section that in half. If not, just a little bit of blade glide and continue on. I'm gonna start right in the middle comb this straight down. There's my line. I want to make sure I get this as clean and as smooth as possible. Come here, baby. Clean and smooth as possible. Support with my middle finger. Clamp down. There's my guide. So let's go through 45 degree angle. Even stroke. Keep that hand as stationary as possible. Cut that off and we end up with a nice cut line. Make sure the head's even. I'm gonna come through and check. Make sure that my lengths are even. If my parting is even here on both sides, right? if my parting is even there, when I go to check it here, it's easier for me to check to make sure that my line is even. And this side's a little bit longer. So we're gonna fix that. If it's just slightly longer, then what I'll do is I'll go through and just lay the blade right on top as I cut that way. That will take a little bit off. If it's a lot longer, then I'll roll my fingers over the section to where it lays flat on my middle finger, and then I can take it off that way. This section, I'm gonna start moving into the sides of the head where I'm not gonna separate my quarter part from the front to the back. I'm just gonna continue that line all the way around. I want these partings to be as parallel as possible. All right, so I'm gonna continue my sections, comb clean from the root all the way through to the ends. Cut that nice and blunt. Boom, not bad. Now I find that if I have to fight the section, my blade is either too dull or I'm using too thick of a section. So sometimes I'll replace the blade every haircut. Other times, halfway through the haircut, depending upon how fierce the hair is. Sometimes the hair is so fierce, it wants to fight you every section. And that's usually when the hair is coarse and it has a lot of cuticle that you have to cut through. Each individual hair is large in diameter. The razor will dull faster. Now, since she, I can't move around the shoulders, I'm just gonna go through and just elevate this past the shoulder. There's my line. And I'm gonna continue that 
right through there. Now, if I had a human and I could move the head and move the shoulder, if it's that perfect length where it's hitting the shoulder, I would have them turn their head to the side and then that way I can comb it down and cut the line without the shoulder interfering. So now we're gonna to continue to the other side and I'm just gonna compete the same method throughout the rest of the haircut. Remember when we went to beauty school and we had to learn finger waves, right? This skill is the skill that we had to learn with finger waves and that's evenly distributing the hair off the part. So as I comb all the hair, I want it evenly distributed off of the parting all the way around the head. Evenly distributed, comb through, down, around, anything that hangs over, cut off, and just clean it up that way. So now at this point, I'm just going to go through, shake everything, check it, make sure that I'm fairly even. Everything looks even there. Check around the front. Now because she has an off-center part, this piece right here is always going to hang longer. So I'll check here and make sure that my lengths are even from where they're even on the head and not worry about that piece because that's always going to hang a little longer. So now we're going to blow it dry, check it out, and then we'll bring it back. So this is our end result. So key things to take away from this, right, is we got a, I still got an even line. It's a blunt shape, but the edges are very, very soft. And that's the whole look of this is to have a solid shape, but have soft edges to it. And that soft edge, gives it a little bit more movement to it, especially on thicker hair that tends to have a stiffness to it that doesn't move and swing. And we got her little off-center part here. Looks pretty good. I would charge for this. I would charge for that. Thank you very much. If you like this, please check out the Jatai Academy. There's a lot more information on there, and we'll see you next time.